right, people, I'm back. I'm Dean Robinson, and this is the Dean J TV Show. Let's get back into it, talking about this fast food. And these companies have been openly telling you, this is fast food. Fast means not eating. Do not eat. That's a fast. So fast food, not eating food, not eating anything with any nutritional content, just eating edibles. And that's what they should have to call this stuff, just edibles. But by calling it fast food, not eating food, well, they're getting away with it because they're being honest. And people are going to think this stuff is just clever, some sort of linguistics trick that I'm playing. But no, the trick is being playing on all you mugs out there. Everybody that's growing obese and growing, you know, sick with diabetes, this high blood pressure, um, heart attack, stroke. Now, people, you know, it's going to be this book. Alternative Cures. Alternative Cures that I'm going to be checking out. And this is a really good book, especially if you're studying disease, because this is going to be more along the lines of cure, not just a, let's just give you the symptoms. No, I mean, the whole notion is cure. You know, how we're going to cure this stuff. Now, it's going to talk about, you know, diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Now, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. That means the immune system mistakenly identifies part of the body as an outside invader and attacks it with substances called antibodies. Okay? Now, according to conventional medicine, type 1 diabetes, you know, the insulin dependent diabetes, occurs because the immune system attacks and kills the cells of the pancreas. The pancreas is the organ that produces the hormone insulin, which ushers blood sugar, glucose, out of the bloodstream and into the cells of the body. Okay, so this autoimmune problem, diabetes type 1, it's when the, the immune system mistakenly thinks that part of the body, in this case the pancreas, is causing a problem. And so it attacks it with antibodies called, you know, these substances called antibodies. Yeah, so if your pancreas isn't secreting this insulin, and so you don't have the insulin taking this glucose, this sugar, you know, you know, into the cells of the body, well, yeah, you're going to have some major league problems, people. Yeah, that's why these people are going to be insulin dependent, going to have to inject this stuff. And so, okay, that's going to be sort of this autoimmune deficiency. So it's going to be, we're not sure why that's going to happen, but we're going to go over to then this type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes. And so again, this is alternative cures, alternative cures. It's going to talk about type 2 diabetes. Okay, now it says here, if you're a typical American, you're also a sugar-aholic. Yeah, one of every five calories you eat is from sugar in the form of sucrose, fructose, and other sweeteners for a grand total of 140 pounds of sugar a year. Yeah, people, I found that in another book, that same figure, about 140 pounds of sugar a year people are eating. That's too much. Okay, so it says here in this book, for many of us, that huge quantity of sugar, that 140 pounds of sugar a year, well, that huge quantity of sugar isn't a huge problem. When you chow down on a bowl of ice cream or chug a sugary soda, your pancreas, a digestive organ, shifts into fifth gear, secreting large amounts of the hormone insulin. The insulin quickly trucks the sugar in the form of glucose, out of your bloodstream and into your cells for use or storage. Now people, why am I spending so much time on this diabetes? Because that's what you're going to be buying with all this fast food. Because there's so much sugar in it. Yes, and since most of us are sugaraholics, well some people who really can't handle this stuff, well that excess sugar that we're eating all the time, not just in fast food, but in all this grocery concentrated food that really is just fast food. But let's just stay focused on this restaurant fast food. Most of it's going to be loaded with fat, salt, and sugar. It is. And so when you have that, you're going to have people getting overweight. You're going to have this obesity. You're going to have high blood pressure. High blood pressure is going to lead to stroke and heart attack. Because when to find out stroke, well, that's when these arteries taking blood to the, to, the, to the brain, well, they're either going to burst or just there's going to be some sort of clot. So your brain's not going to get this vital oxygen from, from this blood that's supposed to be going to your brain. It's going to cause these problems. That's going to be high blood pressure doing that. Obesity leading to high blood pressure in many cases. 
So yeah, people, you're going to have this obesity and this excess sugar where your system's just not working right. This obesity going to make your system weak. And then eating all this sugar, well, yeah, it's going to bombard your pancreas. It's going to make your pancreas just say, look, we're done. We're done. So it's, you know, whatever's going on here, not going to be secreting insulin the way it's supposed to happen. So people, got to tell you about this stuff so you don't fall prey to this seduction of fast food. They're using fashion models to pimp all this stuff. The latest commercial with the McRib, which is just backed by special, you know, the piece of sausage that they just dunk in barbecue sauce with high fructose corn syrup in it. Well, that's back now. But the commercial they're using to pimp this stuff, it shows this man and woman, and it's just single shots of them, and it looks like they're going to kiss. But no, these mugs are trying to get down on that McRib. That McRib. And if you're an actor trying to make it in Hollywood, especially if you're one of these sexy models or one of these news babes, you're not eating that McDonald's junk unless you're just vomiting it up later in some sort of anorexic fit. But no, you're not eating that junk because it's garbage. It's fast food, not eating food. So yeah, people, I'm going to talk about this stuff, I'm going to talk about this fast food and this whole system, this entertainment system that just convinces you to eat this stuff because it's going to be omnipresent. And since it hasn't killed us yet, we're going to think it's okay. But look at all the people around us that are so unhealthy. And I think like with my dad's generation, you know, my dad has since passed away, but my dad's generation, you know, a lot of these people his age, you know, and there would have been 70. But people in their 70s and older, I think a lot of these mugs really got bombarded by this whole notion of fast food. Just really got bombarded with it because when they were growing up, you know, from the 40s, maybe some people a little bit before that, well, you probably had people farming. You had your, you know, everybody growing gardens, you're going to be eating a lot more fresher food. But then that's going to be that generation that is really going to get into this processed food and it hit them like a ton of bricks. And we're going to see it in some of these nursing homes. A lot of these people with stroke, heart attack, diabetes, and that's why they have to be there where they are. But I got nothing but love for all these folks, but I'm going to find that the best cure to this stuff really is prevention. So yeah, stop eating that fast food junk. It's not food, not nutrition, but you're going to have this whole mainstream media system really pimping fast food as if it's good for you. I'm going to have some of these media guys, you know, like Pat White here at WoWo, and you know, Sean Hannity. They're going to be talking about, well, some low-income families, they need that value meal from McDonald's. No, they don't. That's just cheap diabetes. And yeah, people, i got to wrap it up. This is my first show, and yeah, it's going to be rough around the edges, but that's the way it goes because i got other stuff to do. But yeah, hopefully this thing kind of catches on and I can do some more. But i got to go. I'm Dean Robinson, also recording artist Dean J. And this is the Dean J TV Show. I'll see you next time.